They like fishing, drinking beer. The family of Donnie Barnett sits around their picnic table remembering their father, brother, and son. It was six years ago this week that the body of Barnett was found at a strip mine in southern Hopkins County. He got beat up one time, got his pancreas half beat out of him, so he had chronic pancreatitis. And because of that, Dutton says her father was on a heavy narcotic, a drug she says many would pay a lot of money for. I think that uh, he was out there having a drug meeting, and I believe he'd gotten some drug activity. That he was involved with a woman who was, had a very questionable res reputation. She's dead now. She went ahead and died. For years, Donnie's family thought a close friend might have lured him to the strip mine. And he was relaxed, casual, just like I'm sitting like this. And it was while he was sitting in his truck that he was shot and left for dead. Did he see him coming and he's like, you, you know, go ahead, or was he like, what's up? Blah, 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 I'm dead, you know? Detectives say Barnett was shot multiple times at close range, which often means the victim knew the shooter. Barnett's family thinks he might have been running around with the wrong crowd that night and paid the ultimate price. Ever heard snitches wind up in ditches? You know, I often wondered if he got tagged at. That we need closure to this. Mary Barnett, Donnie's sister, says she believes the killer or killers still live in Hopkins County. But somebody told them the truth. Somebody knows. I don't feel like killing them now. I don't think about it. I won't look at them. I won't sit like me and you are and look at them in their eyes.